Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next nail of the day video and this is the design that I have created and um, it's just a floral pattern um, using two different colors and a different type of texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into what I use. So as usual, I started off with my Sesh Recondition Base Coat. And then I used two different brands today, two di and both brands I have not used, and both of these I purchased down in Atlanta. Although I have found um, a few colors of the Nabby Nail Lacquer here in Cincinnati, I, I haven't found a lot of it, just a few colors. Um, and that was at Trader's World from the lady that used to have a booth there that sold the Conat product. So this color is um, it's a metallic polish, and it is called Metallic Coral. And I painted that over my thumb, middle, and pinky finger, and on my index and ring finger on the, my right hand. And the second color I am using is called Matinee, and it is a matte nail polish, and this is in the color Cons, C-A-N-N-E-S, Cans or Cons, however, and it is very pretty, really love it, um, and dries really quickly. And then, as usual, I applied my Sesh Vite over top of... Um, only over top of the metallic coral polish because I wanted to keep matinee as a matte finish. So, um, so I apply this before I do my stamping so in case I mess up I can take the um, stamping off which you'll see in the video mm, that I did actually um, have to remove some of the stamping. So, um, now, for the actual stamping polishes, I did use Nabby, the metallic coral, over top of um, um, Cons by Matinee over the pink nails. As you can see, it stamped really well. Now, on this hand, I stamped... Um, Matt, I tried, wanted to try and see if both of these would stamp. This one stamped well, but um, Matinee, as you can see on, I'm sorry, Cons on the left hand, it stamped, but I did have to remove it off of, um, I believe, my thumbnail, and it doesn't show up as vividly as I thought it would. And this one, I would say, don't use it for stamping because it dries extremely fast. So, um, by the time you get to applying it to your nail, the entire image will not will not transfer. So, um, when I got to my right hand, I end up switching to my Conad Vivid Pink Nail Polish, which they are practically the same color. So, I should have just used this one the entire time because I started having trouble with this on the very first nail that I did. So... Um, so on the right hand, you can see the pattern much more vis is much more visible on the right hand than it is on the left hand. Like you can barely see the stamping on the left hand compared to the right hand. And then, well, I did something a little different just to show how it looks. The matinee polish looks glossy. I did apply the. Um, top coat over this one so I can see how it looks glossy so this one nail is glossy but the rest of them are matte and I must say I really love the matte finish and for the matte top coat that I use I use this China Glaze Matte Magic that I got from Sally over um, the um, Cons Matinee Polish the pink nails and then over the rest of my nails I had to go back to my Sesh Ultra V sadly because it my IBD UV top coat was just too empty and I couldn't get enough off the br uh, off couldn't get enough onto my nail so I switched back to this one for now I did place another order mm. I did place another order so I'll be using that hopefully by the next time I do my nails but so I use the Sesh Ultra V over top of the glossy nails and matte magic over top of the matte nails so that's the design. Um, 
works great for stamping does not work great for stamping it dries too quickly but overall I like the design and um, if you want to see the actual stamping please stay tuned and continue watching otherwise thank you for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye and I forgot to show you the actual stamping plate that I use and I'm continuing to use my Dashika Beauty Shop image plates just because I love them they work great and they this one is Big X DPX and this one is one of the image plates that have the um, image made for longer nails and the image that I used is here at the top um, I'm sorry this floral pattern here so this is what I used over all of my nails and I really love it I um, had no issues with it fitting my nail as you can see this is the length so um, again big, big SDPX by Dashika Beauty Shop and these are images made specifically for longer nails although if you have shorter nails you can still use these but if you have really long nails these work great because you don't have to double stamp so again Thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times and stay tuned for the actual stamping. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. And the two colors that I use for my base colors, I am also going to um, stamp with just for continu continuity, continuity, <laughs> and just to see how well these work since they're both metallic y type polishes those are generally the brands the types of formulas that stamp really well that aren't special stamping polishes so um, what I'm gonna do is stamp the metallic coral over the um, cons and stamp cons over the metallic coral and the design that I was I had to switch my design because I absolutely love these colors so much that I wanted to pick one that will showcase the base colors a little bit more so I am going to go ahead and get started so I'm going to um, first do um, metallic coral over cons on my index finger and the image plate that I'm using is one with that is um, made for longer nails so I shouldn't have any problem um, getting the image to fit my nail now this is fairly subtle it, it you can see the design very well um, it would probably look different um, with um, top coat over it but I'm only I'm going to leave my index and ring finger mat and my middle and pinky mat but I do have this one glossy so I am going to put a regular glossy top coat over this nail so you can see how it how different it looks glossy versus the mat I mean this shows up really nicely I'm very pleased with that so now I am going to stamp and I'm going to use the same design throughout um, over both of the nails for this manicure just doing it simple since I am uh, doing a little bit more with the texture and color so um, I don't want everything to be like wild and crazy although you could I mean it's totally up to you but um, that's just my logic I feel like between the color combination and the texture um, it, that's more than enough and again as usual if you haven't seen in my other videos I only apply like a royal polish across the very top of the image because as you scrape down it's going to cover the rest of the image so there's no need in um, covering the entire image with the polish because at that point you're just pretty much wasting polish I mean but you can choose to do it that way oh this didn't pick up I waited too long this is since it is a matte polish it dries fairly quickly 
so you have to move I'm gonna have to move much quicker so I'm just going to show you why I use Sesh Vit. So removed the polish I'm, I'm sorry removed the bit of the design and as you can see um, just a slight hint of the base color came off but it still looks great and shiny so I'm going to try this again oh, I hope this works because I really want to see how well this polish stamps because it looks more like how the color club holographic polishes stamp so I'm not going to show you the image because that it will dry too quickly doing it that way but I will show you after I have stamped it so let's try this one more time okay so now that picks up so I was expecting this pink to show up a lot more vivid than it actually did, but I am still pretty pleased. Um, I guess, like, kind of, once I put my top coat on, hopefully it'll be more visible, but um, still pretty pleased with it. You can see it fairly well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of the stamping off camera, and then um, I'm going to put a matte top coat over the matinee nails except for this one I am going to keep that one glossy so I'm going to finish the rest off camera and then show you still pictures of the finished design thank you for watching and stay polished at all times